Then you have fuel costs. They're going way up, but that's completely inconsequential on people who don't own a car. Plus, Biden lifted tariffs on solar panels, which is super sweet and should help a lot. And if you still don't like it, then the Biden administration wants you to know that if you can't afford $8 a gallon for gas, then you should just buy a $50,000 electric car. And because we learned math is racist, we really have no way of knowing if $8 is more or less than $50,000. So it's pretty clear and straightforward that fuel costs are completely under control. Then you have his policy on free speech. Now, freedom of speech is fundamental to having a democracy. So freedom of speech must be protected and strengthened at all costs. That's why Biden heavily supports censorship. It protects freedom of speech from being used by citizens. Huh. And if you put it that way, it definitely does make sense. And and it's not 50,000, it's 65,000 on average. High-end models are 150,000, mainly because of inflation. But don't question the logic, trust the experts. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski here of wearechange.org. And oh boy, oh boy, do we have a lot of major bombshells, some more troubling developments unfolding right now in Ukraine. Things are getting extremely serious there, as of course the world is going to be paying for the larger consequences of politicians and their larger ambitions. Yeah, lots of crazy stuff going on. We're going to be talking about that, plus a lot more. Hunter Biden, again, in some major trouble, in some serious hot water. New information coming to light that is absolutely shocking and yeah we're gonna be discussing that plus a lot more all in this video but before we do the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is by the amazingly talented awaken with jp we played a small snippet of his video if you want to watch the full video click the link down in the description below after this one it is definitely worth a watch and it shows you the mind games played to excuse the deliberate destruction of the united states from within as he uh, regurgitated a lot of the mainstream corporate lunatic talking points trying to excuse what is essentially your future and livelihood this as of course there have been major disruptions to our economy not just within the last two and a half years but things are becoming more and more apparent and the financial calamity that this country is heading towards is absolutely something you cannot ignore anymore this as we're finding out today that on average 6,500 flights have already been delayed 900 canceled this amongst rising travel costs highlighting how doing business in the United States is becoming more and more difficult and as the Democrats along with the Biden administration keep passing new legislation along with the help of the Republicans that make life harder and harder for everyone else, they have now shifted focus towards, of course, the latest Supreme Court decision, which they are protesting up in arms in to the point where Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, a congressman from New York, is literally trying to impeach the Supreme Court of the United States. This, as other media publications have taken to TikTok dances in order to fight a Supreme Court decision, specifically <laughs> highlighting how, uh, uh, let's, let's just say, they're not doing too well here. This, as the Supreme Court is promising more drastic changes to our society this as politically things are not looking good for the democrats as we're getting new information that over 1 million voters have already switched their party registration from democrat to republican within the last year specifically amongst the highly educated suburban swing voters specifically in the suburbs of denver atlanta pittsburgh cleveland and other major cities showing a record disdain to the current party establishment signaling a major political shift these upcoming midterm elections and of course why this is happening is is clear it, it's pretty present it's it's in your face almost every single day especially if you're living in a democratic establishment enclave like new york city where the police officers there are literally using resources at roughing up arresting beloved buskers while of course serious crime is soaring throughout this entire city as some commuters are refusing to take the train because of the major lawlessness within it this as of course new york city has elected a new democratic mayor that promised to be tough on crime and he's literally going after buskers musicians with animated cats 
Yes, that's the lawlessness we live in. And what did you expect from an establishment that is above the law as the son of the president of the United States has committed numerous crimes, numerous felonies, numerous ethics violations with shady business dealings from Ukraine all the way to China. And that, of course, is Mr. Hunter Biden as there is a new voicemail being released by the Daily Mail from the president of the United States talking to his criminal son, Hunter Biden, saying, quote, I think you're clear when describing a New York Times report detailing Hunter Biden's business dealings with a Chinese government connected business, which is proving that the president did speak to his son about corporate business relations with other countries, which he previously denied doing so. This voicemail happened in December of 2018, right after Hunter Biden struck a deal with the Chinese company worth millions of dollars. This as the chairman of the company was arrested in China for bribery, which he was convicted of, highlighting clear ethics violations, as of course politicians have used their ties in politics to favor themselves in the business world. And that, of course, is especially true for the Biden Bidens who have a long history of making some very lucrative side money when it comes to their connections in politics. We're also learning today from CBS News that Hunter Biden's ex-wife was actually investigated and interviewed about Hunter Biden's business dealings. What information will they have on Hunter Biden? As of course, the U.S. Attorney General in Delaware opened an investigation into Hunter Biden's tax and business dealings in 2018. They have subpoenaed bank records all the way since 2014. What information do investigators have on Hunter Biden that we do not know yet? Well, probably a lot, since of course there's a lot of seedy, nasty behavior that is publicly known. What is not publicly known probably is a lot more seedier, a lot more nastier, and probably a lot more corrupt than just an Air Force Two flight to China. Absolutely an incredulous amount of corruption within the Biden family that, of course, routinely abuses their political might for their own benefit. And I'll bet your bottom dollar if there is more dirt on Hunter Biden, which there probably definitely is, that dirt is probably used by some kind of shadowy organization in Washington, D.C. in order to push for policies or decisions that work in their favor. It wouldn't surprise me, just being hypothetical here, just speculating here for a second, if there was even more dirt on Hunter Biden, that that would be used as pressure by the establishment, by shadowy organizations within Washington, D.C. saying, hey, Mr. Biden, we don't want you to run, but if you do run, we're going to open up this can of worms about what your son was actually doing that's actually going to make you look that much worse and destroy any possibilities of you running again. There, there could be a possibility that could be happening. That, again, is just my own personal speculation. And as you know, a lot of my speculations have usually turned out to be true. And you especially know that if you're a member of LukeUncensored.com, our own members area, click the link down in the description below to find out more information about our quasi-secret private organization that you could be a member of right now just by signing up for 50 cents a day. And for that, you get exclusive access to videos almost every single day. We're going to have a video right after this one. You could click, watch it right now. We have a forum that's very active where you could talk to like-minded individuals, find other like-minded individuals. We're going to be working on some very interesting projects through the forum in a little bit. We have merchandise that's available to you at cost. We just launched new merchandise only exclusively for members that you could get for super cheap and we also have three master classes about survival online internet marketing and journalism we also have another one about expatting and traveling the apocalypse survival one is is the most beefiest one yet as of course we have over 50 plus videos which you could conveniently download and use during a time of need that could definitely help you out during the upcoming chaotic times that of course a lot of people are expecting to happen you get that plus a lot more all exclusively on lukeuncensored.com see you there right after this video just click the link down in the description below now uh, i i think it's very safe to say that the situation in europe is getting a, a lot more serious this as today nato and western forces have announced that they will be increasing their number of troops on high alert from 40,000 all the way to 300,000, as of course there are new threats for a bigger expanded conflict between Russia 
and Western powers. Currently, we're going through a limited proxy war that, of course, is escalating to grave proportions. This, as the latest information we're getting today, is that allegedly Russian missiles have struck in a Ukrainian shopping mall. This, as allegedly Ukrainians have just implemented the U.S. HIMARS rockets, which allegedly took out the 56th officer from the russian military i say allegedly because again there's been a lot of propaganda there's been a lot of disinformation it's hard to discern truth from reality when it comes from a lot of the reports coming from ukraine as of course this is a conflict and one of the first casualties of a conflict is of course the truth and this is becoming more of a limited conflict a proxy conflict like i like to call it between world powers lobbying for of course hegemony this says we're also finding out today that the u.s congress is bringing the idea of a potential limited nuclear war we have heard this from the russian side it's interesting hearing this from the american side but this proxy conflict for hegemony for political aspirations of politicians has a cost to this that cost will of course be felt by some of the poorest most struggling people in this world which we've been warning about as we've been saying that this conflict is absolutely ridiculous and we should be doing everything in our power in order to de-escalate it and sadly we've been doing the exact opposite opposite of that. This says, of course, there are some serious financial consequences for the rest of the world. It's not just the poorest in Ukraine paying for this conflict. It's also, of course, going to be a lot of countries in the Middle East, in Africa. We've been talking about this on LukeUncensored.com for a very long time. We told you if you had family in these in these areas to tell them to prepare immediately. This, as of course, there's a grain blockade that is creating a food crisis where soon 44 million people could face starvation. This blockade is happening because of the conflict in Ukraine, as of course the Russians are facing their own financial problems and consequences for this conflict, as of course they just defaulted on their first foreign debt in more than a century, blaming this default on of course the sanctions that have been put on them financially, as of course this whole thing is just political leveraging. The future of people are being used as tools for political bargaining, which I think also perfectly explains the situation with an WNBR basketball player, Brittany Greener, who is now facing 10 years in Russian jail for bringing in a banned substance, a weed pen in the country, which of course is illegal. Her future is also going to be negotiated between the Western and Eastern powers. This says the United States keeps pouring in a lot of, of money a lot of weapons and soon we'll be sending advanced long-range missile defense systems to Ukraine, the same ones used at the White House, which of course only ups the ante and creates more of a dangerous, desperate situation for everyone involved here. As today, we're also finding out that the Central Intelligence Agency is operating on the ground in Ukraine. This is from the reporting from the New York Times, as Western officials are admitting that CIA personnel is crawling on the ground all over Ukraine in an explosive new report which confirms the stealth network of spies and commandos inside of that country. Russia is, of course, doing the same. They're also doing the same in Poland. And uh, my response to all of this is like, hey, can we stop playing soldier here for a little bit and understand the true consequences at stake here? As, of course, there are invested interests that are profiting off of this. Corrupted politicians, corrupted bureaucrats that are making a crap ton of money off of this. And who's paying the ultimate price for it? the poorest people in the world that of course are giving their lives to these insane people that want them fighting for the state again lots is at stake here de-escalation negotiations should be the number one priority how you do that strategically how you do that in an intelligent way that's able to stop the the suffering that that's here that's only going to get worse well i think there's many different avenues to take on that specific road but i think it's fair to say that, that, that road definitely hasn't been taken here when it comes to the policies that have been instituted. That's my perspective. I might be wrong. And if you think I am, let me know down in the comment section below. I expressed some of my opinions here. You don't agree with them? Cool. That's fine. Thanks for at least being able to listen to them. And if you have a different opinion that you think I should be aware of or you think I should know, let me know down in the comment section below. I always appreciate the constructive criticism. I always appreciate being able to see a perspective that I don't see myself. We need more of that on the internet, not less. And this is what I strive to do. If you thought I did an okay job at that, share this video with your friends and family members. That is more imperative than ever. And because you do that, I'm still able to be here almost every single day 
for you. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for one more video on LukeUncensored.com.